What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we have some huge news. Now this big news, baby, is that the DayZ devs in a live stream spoke about adding some new backpacks to DayZ. So let's roll that clip right now. To the year we announced that usually we'd have a, an update that is consistent of a weapon, bug fixing, a few Cosmetic items, maybe some contaminated areas contaminated. or some bunkers, right? Yeah, <laughs> feature, like some some feature, and it comes with that, and it kind of had this uh, um, pattern. Pattern, exactly. Uh, but at the start of this year, we said that we're going to break this mold a little bit. Um, so with the next update coming, it's not going to be uh, content heavy. Um, so it's going to be difficult for me to build a trailer on it. So I'll build up a scenario, let's say, and do a two-part trailer with the one, two, three, one, two, two. So kind of <laughs> the continuity of the law of the two of them to kind of combine. Uh, but one thing I can mention is that we're looking into some new backpacks. So we're looking into some new survival uh, orientated uh, backpacks for okay. the one, two, two. So there is your uh, leaked hype information. Okay. okay, so what you can see from that is they talk about survival orientated backpacks and there's also some information about how the 1.22 trailer and the 1.23 trailer are going to be linked. So that's one to watch out for but we'll talk about that maybe in another video. So what I'm going to do in this video for the rest of the video is what mods have been done. So for example, what is possible in DayZ with the backpacks? How far can DayZ engine be pushed with backpacks? And I'm gonna showcase a couple different mods here, uh, the potentials of a survival oriented backpack and maybe look at some other variations of how the bags look. Let's jump in. Okay guys, so we're in a little area here and I've spawned in a bunch of different backpacks from a bunch of different mods and a really good example to start on is these canvas bags. Now a lot of PC players are going to recognize these and um, they look like they fit really nicely in the game. This is it default with no attachment which we'll get into in just a second here. You get these little button pins you can do for customization, water bottle slot, radio slot and then um, you can get a hatchet, machete a small sort of knife attached. Let's see it with all the bells and whistles here. We've got a hatchet and we've got some pins, we've got a radio and we have a, uh, a water bottle there. Let's have a look. As you guys can see, it looks really nice. It fits well, everyone looks good and it's just a really basic addition to the sort of survival aspect. This is a very simple design but it's really effective. And um, I want to go into some camos as well. Let's go over here. As you guys can see, these are all nice and hidden very well. And uh, we've got like a sort of the BDU camo here on the Coyote one. Really simple design changes, but it would really flash out, flesh out the game more with the camos making your character look very different. And as you can see, we're on the more extreme modded side of things. And um, these backpacks are huge and also contain uh, gun slots as well. So that is um, an option that Daisy have to introduce gun slots. We've got a patch um, and obviously the usual radio there. So that is the more high-end mod. It's unlikely to see something as intense as say, for example, this bag, but hey, you never know, you never know. Now getting into this, there's more heavily mod, like slightly heavily modded with all the different attachments. So as you can see, we've got like kind of like a kid's backpack, almost similar to the school backpack, but instead we've got all these attachments. As you guys can see, there's loads of cool stuff that add additions to storage. I like add a teddy bear on there, a protective case, flashlight on the shoulder, as you can see there. And then we've also got a, um, a canteen and then a waterproof bag, which adds extra slots to the backpack. So over time, you could upgrade the backpack, which is really cool. And then for the, the final extreme end of the upgrades, here we have um, a, the basic standard version of this backpack, the hiking backpack, which is sort of like a camping trip backpack, really survival looking. I love this. And it's when going into the survival, survival oriented backpack, these are the kind of things you're looking at. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. I've not even got all the attachments on this. You can add, you can add a tent onto this. I mean, look at the customization. You can get a gun, a compass, um, cooking supplies, dry sack, uh, canteen, rifle, binoculars, all the bells and whistles. And look at the storage as well, all the different slots. You can have a fishing rod on there, a first aid kit, and um, you can have a tripod, um, it is a really cool mod. Obviously, none of this stuff is vanilla, but it's just an example on what they could do. So just to finalize, additional slots to backpacks, different camos, potentially gun slots, 
more simplistic but more survival orientated and um, additionally more simplistic and more survival orientated. So these are the kind of things we need to expect in 1.22 which I'm excited for to add more um, to flesh out the game in terms of customization on your character and more survival aspects as well and like we said we will see what continues with um 1.23 the update after 1.22 which they said the two updates are going to be kind of linked in terms of the trailer so that's one to watch out for if you do like this content make sure to subscribe to keep posted on these kinds of things and we're going to have many adventures in the future trying to work on some videos and yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please hit the like let me know what your thoughts of this down in the comment and while you're down there hit that subscribe Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, boys. Hi, but Demi, Demi, listen to this. If you don't like where you are, move. You are not a tree. You are not a tree. I repeat. If you don't like where you are currently, it might be in the relationship. It might be at work, it might be in the friendship, it might